Hello everyone, my topic is AU nanoflower modified magnetic and flexible biosensor for classified 3HCC global DNA maceration detection. I'm going to introduce our work from the following aspects. First is background of DNA maceration. Second is principle of our work. Third is experiments and results. Last part is conclusions. Hepatocellular casnoma. HCC, one of the most common cancerous diseases worldwide with a particularly high morbidity in developing countries, especially China. The five-year survival rate is less than 6%. Only patients without distant metastasis can be treated with liver transplantation and the reception. HCC needs a robust diagnostic and the prognostic approaches. Beside the changes in DNA sequence, the gene expression can also be controlled by DNA maceration, which is an epigenetic modification of DNA. In the presence of methylene group can be added. In the presence of methylenes, an additional methyl group can be added onto the fifth carbon sizing in the CPG dinucleotide. The hypermethylation in promote region can increase oncogene expression, and the global hypomethylation activity, ritual transposon, and alters the genomic stability, thus the maceration level could be a hallmark for diagnostic and prognostic of HCC. Our previous work, a simple and low-cost screen-printed electrode for hepatocellular carcinoma maceration detection used classified treatment to distinguish fire maceration sizing and sizing. In this method, AU nano particles were modified onto the working electrode after fabrication with various screen temperatures. Electrodes which were absorbed with unmethylated oligonucleotides displayed weaker electro electrostatic repulsion with bulk Ferrocyanide ions leading to lower DPV signals. In order to further reduce the amount of sample and improve electrosensitivity, a gold nanoparticles modified carbon fiber microelectrode was fabricated for by electrodepositing on a single carbon fiber, which was applied to global maceration detection of HCC. The method is same as the first work, but carbon fiber microelectrode had an ultra low limit of detection. However, previous assays has some shortcomings such as unable to distinguish 5MC and 5HMC and uh, incompleted conversion of all the sizing. Therefore, there are great demands of uh, classified free maceration. Classified uh, uh, uh. free methods. We demonstrate an AU nanoflowers modified the magnetic screen print carbon electrode to decorate to directly detect global DNA maceration. First the strip magnetic beads were mixed up with the biotinated file maceration sizing antibodies. Second antibody coated the magnetic beads were added on into SS DNA solution in order to directly capture maturated DNA sequence and added the enriched sample onto the electrode. 
compare with unmethylated sequence. Methylated sequence could be captured, could be captured by antibody and fixed on the electrode surface, resulting in stronger electrostatic repulsion with bulk ferrocyanide ions, leading to lower DPV. Here we proposed for the first time to construct magnetic screen print electrodes with rubber magnet, magnet sheet substrate. Then print the electrode on in the order of silver paste, carbon paste, and isolated oil, as shown in figure A to C. The prepared MSPCE was immersed into Chlorauric acid solution and applied with a constant voltage for 100 seconds to decorate a nanoflower. We bend the electrode outside the substrate and uh, at a bending ratio of 5 mm, the resistance and the DPV signal of in response to repeated bending and the relaxation of AU nanoflower MSPCE was slightly changed. The result indicates that the electrode had an excellent mechanical tolerance and can be used in wearable devices. We also tested the magnetic property of the electrode and uh, placed the ferroferric oxide powder on the working electrode. After the electrode was erected, the powder would not fall off, indicating that the electrode's magnetic property was sufficient to fix the micro-sized magnetic the so surface morphology of different modification electrodes were examined by SEM. SEM image shows that AU nanoflowers were one micrometer in diameter and were uniformly distributed on the carbon surface. The magnetic beads were one micrometer in diameter and aggressive above the AU nanoflowers. Since the magnetic beads were coated with a strip, it is hardly to distinguish magnetic beads and antibody coated magnetic beads by SEM image. So we use gold anti mouse IgG to stain fire maceration sizing. To stain fire maceration sizing antibody. Here we can see almost all the particles so were stained with fluorescence, which meant that the fire maceration sizing antibody had been successfully coated on the magnetic beads. Then the characterize then we characterize the electrochemical performance of the electrode. This result shows that the AU nanoflower enlarged the surface of the electrode, leading to more bulk ferrocyanide ions on the electrode and the, the methylated DNA with negative charged inhibit bulk ferrocyanide ions, resulting decline of CV and DPV signals. Whole gene genome amplification WGA was amplified from LO2, which was considered to be 0% methylated and served as a negative control. The CPG methylated jacket genomic DNA was 100% methylated, as shown in Fig A. The DNA, the DPV signal of Bell. AU nanoflower 
its MSPCE was 13.3 microAmp. After fixing with WGA and antibody coated magnetic bits, the signal decreased to 16.8, which demonstrates that the magnetic bits could influence the reaction of bulk ferrocyanide ions. Compared with WGA, the methylated jacket signal brings the signal down to 7.9 which illustrates that the DNA was captured on the electrode. This result demonstrates that the AU nano flowers MSPCE could be used to detect global DNA maceration. Relative signal change percent I defined as in the equation, as illustrated in figure B. Relative signal changes of normal cell line in red were 16.7 or 17.6.7 and uh, of HCC cell lines in blue were below 43.8, indicating that hypomaceration at the global level of HCC cell lines, which was consistent with the result of other studies. In summary, an AU nanoflowers modified the magnetic screen print electrode had been fabricated for the detection of HCC global DNA maceration. The AU nanoflowers improved the sensitivity of the electrode and the electrode had an excellent flexibility which would be applied in wearable devices. The results show that RLS could the successfully distinguish magnet methylated and unmethylated sequence and would, could be used to detect abnormal global methylation level of cell arrived samples. Thank you for your attention. 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 Attention.